Drop the cluster bombs. We're going down. We're going down. Spiders right below. Make them eat hell. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are pitting 500 heavy tanks against 500 of the largest and heaviest spiders in the world. This, my friends, is everyone who is afraid of spiders' wet dream. Because right now, we are going to exterminate the ever-living bejesus out of these people. We have as many battle points as possible. 10,000. We got all of these. That's ammo. We got all of these vehicles that we're going to be dropping down. And how's that going to work? Well, pretty much, I'm just going to repeatedly... Oh, I don't want to click them on top of each other. That's going to be a very glitchy tank. But pretty much my job is to push as many of these tanks as possible. And as you can see, there is a handy dandy little glitch that you can do where you can pretty much place things outside of the green box because it will push them outside and now it appears that I have too many troops on the battlefield so we'll have to call it at that many but uh, I say we're still in for a pretty fun treat and worst case we'll try to expand it in another battle for now though we are ready no we're ready to start the battle lads over here lies the enemy a lot of them over here lies a lot of tanks the question on everyone's minds will it be enough tanks to stop what's going to be happening. This is going to be an absolute derp fest, by the way, of these guys trying to move up. So I'm actually really excited <laughs> just to see how derpy this is. But we can even pick the type of ammo that they're using. I think we might just have to stick with standard. We got these. This dude's trying to go back to base. He's like, Ma, I don't want to fight the big spiders. He's like, I want to stay at base. It's safe here. Yeah. I don't know why that dude's a cowboy, apparently. A very bad cowboy impression. But I say we lead the charge of all these tanks. Oh, we have first contact. Engage! Spiders must go down. Spiders must go down. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. There's so many more of them than I expected. Look at this. Look at this. This is absolutely nutty. This encounter is the encounter of all encounters. Look at that. They're still coming because we have a line of sight. Jesus. No. Oh my god. There's so many of them. They're so powerful. They're so large. It's horrifying. Oh, mama mia. I don't think our troops may stand a chance against an army of spiders this big. Thank God that there's a lot of us. But I don't think we've even killed one of them yet. That's how powerful they are. These things have 4,000 health a pop. Look at him rearing up his spider legs. That's horrifying. Can you imagine getting reared up your spider legs by spider legs? Especially spiders this big. Oh, there goes that spider. Oh no, this guy's about to rear up and do some spooky stuff. Rear up, take out a tank, do it! Do it for Sparta! Or spider, uh, whatever the hell this spider equivalent of Sparta is. This guy's just walking through, he doesn't even care. Oh no, he died, okay good, he's dead. Our troops are still staying strong. We should be able to actually, that's a thing. Another thing we can do is I think we can actually plop down more, no we can't, none of them have died yet. Okay, but as soon as the tank starts dying, I think we can actually start plopping down more tanks. Problem is, that currently isn't a thing. Uh, apparently these spiders are not interested at all in like attacking us. A couple of them like rear up their legs. I, why, why, why are you telling me too many troops on the battlefield? <laughs> oh my god, they keep on coming. This is insane! And they're gonna get through to the base, which is really bad, because that means we're gonna lose the base, but these things aren't stopping. Not even, a but I'm not gonna say a battalion because that's probably scientifically incorrect, but a shit, a poop ton! of tanks could not stop these monsters and their attack on democracy. The green army men democracy, the best democracy. Oh God, he's attacking me. They do a hundred damage a pop and I can't, I can't hit him. And also I'm gonna put away these reinforcements cause uh, can I put them down? Did any of our guys die yet? I don't think so. We should slap, oh no, they have. All right, we can plop down a couple reinforcements. Guys, go to work, start shooting stuff. Like right now, please start the shooty McShoots. There we go. Oh no, oh my god, oh no, we're dropping flies left and right. Ah, that didn't even make sense, but you know what I meant! Oh god, no, they've gotten to the outpost. It's game over, it's game over. The spiders have won, probably. It wouldn't surprise me, because look at how many of them there are. It's not human, because it's spider, but still, it's definitely not human. Look at this, too many. I can't wait to incorporate an Air Force into epic battles like this, so if you guys haven't uh, learned yet, this is Home Wars, where we have giant wars 
for the home and sweet mama are these wars giant and actually I we're doing a good job we got this battalion back not this battalion but this little group of guys back here pretty much trying to hold the line I think if we keep dropping down some tanks there might be a chance problem is there is legitimately 500 of those guys slowly but surely spawning in which is not good for us but we can plop down some more tanks too many troops on the battlefield that's okay these guys will probably start dying anyways oh and I gotta unclick that because that's a little bit glitchy but we can go back to controlling this guy a lot of these guys actually ran out of ammo because I didn't do supply trucks and I now realize how much of a noob move <laughs> that probably was. Either way, we're doing our best. Oh, how did that guy die? What the hell are you guys poisoned or something? Do you see that? Or does that maybe just mean- oh, I think that means they're out of ammo. Uh, even if we switch to the machine gun? We can go to the machine gun and start doing a little bit of work even though the spiders are doing more work than we are. Alright, let's move up troops. I want to move these guys up slowly but surely. But don't call me Shirley. Okay, can I like select all of these guys? The drag feature is really weird. I want to move them up. Those guys are dropping. Oh no, oh no. Alright. So this is the really cool part though, is that even if there are too many troops on the battlefield, we can actually change that because, you know, as our troops die, we can continue to keep on dropping some of ours. And like, dude, the drag feature is the glitchiest thing ever. Everyone is out of ammo. This is really bad. There's only five minutes of the battle left. Remember, our job is to defend this outpost. We're doing an okay job despite the fact that there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of spiders trying to eat our faces. Have you ever had a spider try to eat your face, dude? No. Because you've never seen spiders this big. Even though, you know, look at how big they are compared to tanks. I know that they're toy tanks, but play along with me. Oh no. These guys are definitely making their way up. Medic! Okay, so- Oh no! Dude, this spider hordes are pushing the hell back out of us. This is bad, this is bad. We gotta drop troops. We gotta drop troops! Drop them, boys! Too many troops on the battlefield. I don't care! We gotta move them up! We gotta move them up! Let those guys die! Like the cannon fodder that they are. Oh no. See, these spiders are perfect seat- Jesus! Can you imagine an infestation like this in your home? Dude, I would cry myself to sleep in someone else's house, because I would not be sleeping in this house with this many of the largest spiders in the world. Look at how big they are compared to a chair! That thing's the size of one of my butt cheeks! Did you, do you want butt cheek spiders in your house? No, you probably don't. Oh my god. I mean, all that these guys are like a wall of tanks trying to hold them back at this point. This is absolutely awful. Come on. Okay, well at least we can get a good amount of reinforcements up. I think they should have some ammo with them, which is nice, but that's about the only nice thing we got going right now, because the horde continues to expand, and see, some of those spiders are actually out of our line of sight, because there's way more back there, and our men are running out of ammo, they're dropping like flies, no, come on, we gotta stay strong! Now that they've gone to the base, they got three minutes, and with this many of them, our outposts may very well be doomed, fellas, and that's not good. Invalid position, look at that. We were able to drop a bunch more of these guys down. Alright, we gotta continue moving them up, if we even can move them up, which I don't think we can really do. Oh no, allied outpost 86%. We just gotta defend. That's our job, we're fending off the largest spider invasion in the world! Oh no! I just... Ah, just imagining this is the worst thing ever, dude. Whenever I see a spider like the size, I don't know, of half my fingernail, I'm just like, ew. This type of stuff? I, I'm serious, I think I would cry. <laughs> Especially this many. Oh, oh, dude. You know what we gotta do next time, That for the next battle? I think we're getting flamethrowers to deal with these guys. Cause that's what I'd do, I'd burn down my entire house if I saw this many spiders. If, you know, it was freaking the mating grounds for these massive things. Oh, look at this poor guy just kind of chilling back there. Well, you're out of ammo, so you can't do anything. Allied Outpost is down to 77. It's staying close. I believe in us, but I don't believe in the fact that there are way more spiders than there ever were. Luckily, a ton of our tanks died. But that all- Jesus! I think they're trying to- I think they're trying to bone me! No! Oh my god, I saw- do you see the hyd- I don't think this tank comes with hydraulics and it was bouncing around. So that's definitely a bad sign. Oh my god, they're just pushed- ah! Ah! I'm going in a spider web maker. No, get out. I don't want to be in your butt. Oh my god spider butt spider butt. This is bad. They've overwhelmed us No How could it be? How could it be? Come on. Come on. Keep dropping them down. Keep dropping them down. I don't 
I think we might be able to hold out for another minute. Is there like a fast forward we can do? There is. Let's just see how this plays out. Four times speed. Oh my god, they're not stopping. Sweet Jesus. I think our outpost will survive only off of time, but no one else will survive. 400 of them remained. We killed 400 of those. Oh my god. And that's the thing too with spiders. If we killed 400, I think that means sweet Jesus. Because that says 400 remaining. There were 500 to begin with, 400 dead enemies. I think that means for every one unit of this spider, there's like four spiders that actually spawn in. So that was actually 2,000 spiders we were up against, and only 400 heavy tanks. Sweet mama. I mean, we had a good, uh,. We had a good KD, 4.0 KD. You know, you could brag about that back in the MW2 days, but, uh, damn. That's the worst victory I've ever had. Definitely a consolation victory. <laughs> but, there's something that I want to do. This time, max allies on screen. I want that to be 200. Max enemies on screen. I want that to be 1,000. I want you guys to see the true scale of the battle that we're about to have. This is going to be a massive assault. I want, let's, there's four of these in every group, so let's just say, let's get about 1250 of them. And 1250 Tarantula Hawks. Both of these have four members in their group. What that means is that we are going to be facing 10,000 of the largest spiders and hornets in the world. These, this isn't the number one largest, but it is absolutely massive. The, the number one largest is this thing. That's only two members per group. And also, they're pretty much flying tanks. The tarantulas are already pretty much land tanks, so I wanted to give them a little bit more fun when it comes to attacking. A little bit easier to kill, but a little bit more fun on our end. Now, when it comes to allies, we are not cheaping out. We are getting absolutely the greatest things that we can. We're getting a thousand war machines. We'll have about a hundred rocket artillery. We are going to definitely need some air support for these guys. So I say we try to get some heavy helicopters in here. We also are probably realistically, ooh, why don't we get a couple long range bombers too? We want to be realistic about this and God knows we're gonna need everything that we can. But also we are probably gonna want at least a couple supply trucks and why the hell not some of those supply helicopters too, because those guys, need to refuel, heal, and do all that jazz, but we have an absolutely massive army that will be attempting to stop the greatest insect assault in the world. Starting battle points have to be very freaking high, and why don't we switch it up to a different room? Why don't we do the central hallway? I think this could make for a pretty good assault. Guys, gals, I hope you're ready for something absolutely insane. This is gonna be the mama of all battles. I'll probably go back to doing campaign after this video. I think I might alternate because I just really wanted to get some crazy custom battles going and that is exactly what's happening. So we're gonna want some long range bombers up in here probably, uh, ready. Oh, I just have to click them there. Okay. I don't know exactly how the Air Force works, but we'll get a couple of these helis up in the sky, ready to provide support. We'll also get a couple of them actually over here, ready to provide support from different angles. We'll get a supply helicopter in the back. We'll also get a supply helicopter in the back there. And you can see in this situation, we got some more room to maneuver with when it comes to actually placing things down. War machines, we need a lot of these. And I mean a lot of them, AKA as many as we can freaking get. Yeah, just, just keep putting them down there. They'll push each other out the way. They'll make room. Oh no, I'm accidentally killing them by pushing them out of the room. Never mind. Uh oh. Well, I'm gonna try to be as good as possible with this. We'll keep on placing these bad boys. Try to have them push each other out the way. There you go. That's working out. They're pushing each other the right way. We'll keep pushing them this way too. Just hope that they don't, they don't get out of the room if they're out of the room. Yeah, they kind of die. That's not good. And we'll actually get a couple of supply trucks in here. Hopefully the supply trucks just automatically refuel these guys, because if not, that's just going to be pretty annoying that we got to deal with that all the time. 
but uh, there we go. We got a couple supply trucks and I would like to get some of this artillery placed down because the artillery is going to be able to do a number, especially at range. Can I just find a place to put them though? It's absolutely impossible to find anywhere to put these guys. I really got to like just find all the cracks possible. Right now though, we've used up pretty much all of our battle points, creating what will be probably one of the greatest military efforts we will see in home wars. And lads, I'm ready for the repercussions. This is going to get dirty. Oh, mama, we can already see some of the flyers. Uh, well, I was gonna say, I don't even know how... In action, yeah, call all of them in. Go Air Force! Oh my god, we got the flyers coming in already. Oh, we got plenty of rockets though. We got the spiders. Oh, we gotta engage. What the hell? Why am I not... This is like, this is a very weird view. Can I... This is... That's an extremely weird view. Are the war machines glitched or something? I think so. Maybe. Huh. Well, maybe I'll try to get on a helicopter. We'll try to actually do some... Oh, Jesus! We're going down! We're going down! Oh, no. Oh, no. It's also inverted controls, which doesn't help. You know what? I'm gonna let the... Oh, my God. Look at the rain. The rain of hell. These are rockets. And they're ready to stop whatever these tarantula hawks and stuff want to do. Oh, they want to do a lot. That's for sure. Oh my god, look at the rockets just flying everywhere. I love it. I love it. Look at they're, they're able to take out the spiders from distance. No way. Are you telling me this might actually work? Although these guys are definitely being a bit troublesome. Where, where are jets? They're in the sky. Those things are getting knocked down. All right, let's get some more jets ready to go. Get them ready. Get them ready. Go, 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 go. Call them into action, boys. They gotta go. They gotta go. It says ready. Why don't you do something about it? Go. Engage. Engage. Do what you can! Get the bombing runs in! There we go, we can actually designate some bombing runs, why don't we do that? Let's- high priority target, right there. The bomber should be going in. Oh my god, we're down to like, our frames are dropping like mofos from this. But the bombers, guys, I think they're going in for their bombing run. Stay alive! Alright, this is a high priority target. They gotta go! We might actually hold down this massive assault. I'm- if we win, I blame the rocket artillery. Cause look at what it's able to do. Everything is gone. Nothing exists. I kinda wanna be a flyer here, although all of them just got taken out by those bugs. Let's get a couple more up in action. There we go. Let's call them in. All right, uh, Alpha Bravo 529er. This is Alpha, holy shit, I'm spinning out of control. Uh, regaining, attempting to regain, attempting to regain. Wall in our sights, I repeat, wall in our sights. All right, attempting to regain everything. We appear to be back under control, although we have hit a wall. Hornet! Giant Hornet coming for us! No! We're under attack! We're under attack! Drop the payload! I repeat! Drop the payload before they take us down! The wasps have our number! Drop the cluster bombs! We're going down! We're going down! Spiders right below! Make them eat hell! Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, how are we still alive? I don't know. We're dropping bombs though. I'm just dropping them everywhere that I can. Hoping that they drop on some of these bastards. <laughs> they gotta go. Although they haven't done any damage to me yet, which is pretty good. Uh, but we're almost completely out. Still, we've been able. I don't- oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know how this thing's still alive. Those hornets are just doing stuff to it. How oh no, our outpost is at 8%. We're gonna fall from the flyers. We needed more anti-aircraft guns for this to succeed, didn't we? Oh, and these guys are all out of ammo. Where's that one supply truck? Ah. Uh, doesn't matter. Hot damn though, we decimated that insect population. And I am proud of that, because holy hell, that was amazing. Rockets flying, jets coming by, oh my god, that's what I love about this game. That's what I love about any game that kind of has that tabs feel to it, you know, where you put down units, you watch them duke it out, and holy hell, it never gets old. Oh, <sighs> this time around though, I say we want some flamethrowers up in here. We're gonna try to, we're, we're gonna burn down the house. It's the only way that we can go. All right guys, we've really diversified the army this time. We got 500 flamethrower troops on the ground, 100 anti-aircraft. We got 100 rocket artilleries, 100 war machines, 10 big guns, the most devastating artillery 
in the entire game. 100 heavy helicopters, 100 interceptor aircraft, and we're going big or bust with the 100 strategic bombers, which are the most powerful and carry the most potent payload. And we're going to be putting them up putting them up against a pretty similar opponent. I think you guys know how this is going to go. And there we have it. More of their best spiders. More of their best of those. And we will also be incorporating some ground troops here. There's a lot of members in these ant groups. So we're not going to have too much here. But these guys have some of the most powerful bites in the world. These are bullet ants, baby. And we're going to be finding them with bullets. And, well... We're gonna see how it goes. We're only gonna have 50 groups of them because there is about a devastating 14 of them per group. So it's gonna be a real, real swarm. Let's put those max allies all the way up, those max enemies all the way up. Let's battle somewhere fitting for something so epic. Why not a dining room? And then we'll see where this goes. This gonna be good. This gonna be good. This is everything that the army has got. And they're going to be pitting it up against everything that the bugs got. Do we only have one place where we can drop our troops? Oh my god, that's not good. That means they'll be able to drop way more than we are. They're coming from three different angles. This is not the best place to be defending. But alright, we got to start putting things down. Artillery. I want the big guns. I want them down. I want them barely within the confines of valid position since they kind of can't move once you put them down. We'll get some rocket artillery and what pretty much the game plan is... I want to have all of these guys moving out almost right away. That way, they can hopefully make room for some more stuff. Alright, we'll make sure to put down like all the heavy helicopters as well. These guys got to be up in the sky. They got to be able to provide tons of air support. We're going to need all of it. Hopefully, they don't crash into each other. That's the one thing I'm kind of scared of with having so many of them. <laughs> we'll also have a couple interceptor aircraft up in the sky. And then three strategic bombers queued up. And after that, we'll also probably want a couple of heavy aircraft, probably right in this back corner there, protecting everything. Uh, probably want a couple supply trucks up in the middle. And this is probably the part where we want an absolute ton of flamethrower infantry. These guys are all going to be moving up, don't even worry. I'm just going to drop as, as a ton of them down here. Their job is to move up and burn them down. Because they're going to be trying to stop us. It's my job to stop them from stopping us, so it's like a stopception, you know, some, something like that, something or other. And then behind them, we'll have as many war machines as the world can handle, which is not a lot at the time being, but we'll have to make do. Alright. I am ready. That doesn't matter, apparently. Alright. It's time to begin the battle. Send them out. Interceptors, you know what to do. We gotta find out where they're gonna be. Look at those giant things. Okay, this is the part though, we gotta send out these boys. The boys in red, the boys with the flames. You guys gotta go, and then all of you fellas. I want you guys moving up so we can deploy more troops. Oh no, they're coming in. Flamethrowers, you know what to do. If those if those flyers get close, you burn them! Alright, you gotta burn them, there you go, bring out the flames. Gorgeous, that's what I like to see. We gotta call in strategic bombing strikes. Uh, oh no, oh no. They're not going down. Well. One of them's already down. All right, we gotta get another one up in the sky. Another one up in the sky. Bring the strategic bombers back. Interceptor aircraft, do your job, boy. Uh, all right. Did we try to take control of one of these? I don't even know if that's a good idea. Let's deploy. How's this looking? Oh no, it's a mess. All right, all right, let's pause. We gotta deploy more, we gotta deploy more. We need more war machines, whatever. We'll do the trick. You guys, as soon as you're done, uh, we, I gotta put down more heavy aircraft, anti-aircraft, because that is where everything's gonna go wrong. Nope, didn't wanna control that. Okay, we're back at it. Ooh, we can actually tell them to bomb somewhere. All right, I think you know what I want bombed. Invalid position. No, it's not. Oh, it's because I got reinforcements. Lads, bomb that. All right, next one. You, I need you bombing a little bit further back. You, my friend, I need you bombing whatever the hell they got coming from there. All right, bring out the bombs. We need the big guns. They got to go. The interceptor aircraft are doing an okay job. Oh, look at those missiles going down. Rain in hell! Oh, no one's going down. Oh no, we got more aircraft getting shot out of the sky. Flamethrowers, how are things looking? All right, you holding your ground? I hope so, because if not, we're really dead. Anti-aircraft, how are you looking? All right, you guys got to start moving again. Let's go, go, go. Get on the move, get on the move. We got to make room for what we got. Actually, I want you guys moving over here. 
Just whatever gets you out of there the closest. Allied Outpost has taken 20% damage in about two minutes. We're on pace for a very close game. I hit C or V. What did I just hit? Oh no, V? If he does that, ooh, fancy. Uh, oh, X does that. Well, they got a lot of things coming our way. That's not good. Oh, it's the stupid, it's, the, it's those stupid things that always screw us. All right, we need more anti-aircraft right now. Get to work, boys. There are aircraft in the sky. They're called bugs. Shoot them down. No mercy. Right now. They gotta go. That's our number one priority. This battalion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, of flamethrower troops. They're doing their best, but they're about to engage one of their worst nightmares. Oh, I don't know if they're ready. I hope they are. I hope they are. Oh man, look at this. This is a dope angle. Well, besides the fact that, well, I got all the reinforcements on. They're refueling. All right, stay strong, refuelers. Stay strong. Oh, mama. They're doing what they can. But I don't know if that's going to be enough, especially with the big bugs starting to make their way. The bullet ants, their infantry coming through. Oh, we got big airstrikes coming from the sky, though. Hallelujah for that. Oh, these flames are doing a great job at exterminating these flyers. They get close to the flamethrowers. These guys do a number on bugs. Doesn't surprise me. Bugs hate flames, but still. Lads, you gotta bring out the fire on the big go- Oh, they took out the tarantula. This defense is going surprisingly well. I mean, really surprisingly well. Oh my god. Could we stand a chance? I don't even know. If we do, though, I'd be beyond happy. Because right now, that's all I want. And we might get it. Our troops are doing a hell of a job fending off, although it's the flyers that are always the problem. Okay. Well, no, no, our outpost is about to fall, isn't it? There's no hope. There's no hope unless we can move out some of these guys a little bit more forward. There's just too many of them. Come on, 16%. I think we can hold off the ground assault pretty well. We got the infantry, we got the manpower. We just gotta shoot these bastards out of the sky. Come on. Come on, get more anti-aircraft. You know what to do. Shoot them down. They gotta go, lads. They gotta go. Are these the wrong ones? Are they not shooting at them at all? Uh, no, they're shooting. I see the bullets coming out of them. But they're not shooting fast enough. Yet. Oh, there we go. I like this view. Mow them down. 81 millimeter quad cannon. This thing hits hard if it hits. Big if, though. It's got to hit. Oh, my God. They're flying over trying to hit me now. Allied Outpost is at 11%. Oh, no. This is looking closer than it should be. We still got those big guns doing a huge number on these guys. Uh, let's put the reinforcements down. Redeploy the interceptors. Get to work. You know what to do, lads. Uh, come on. Let's select you guys. Please start moving up. We're doing a good job. I think we've taken out their air force for the most part. All we got to do is stay strong on the ground front. We got the flamethrowers doing the best that they can in that department. Unfortunately... <laughs> The best they can against insects so much bigger than them might not be enough. Also, I wish there was a nicer way of using the camera. The camera's really poopy, but, oh, they're doing an okay job. Oh my god. Guys, we might have the troops for this. Maybe. Although the problem now is that these are anti-aircraft guys. I don't think that they can shoot at... I mean, they, you know, they can try. They're doing their best. All right, you guys do a number on that. I'm going to keep moving these guys up. We might have the troops to win this. Oh my god, please let it be, let it be. Look at those big guns fire. When those things hit, they do big damage. Those things are like nukes in artillery form. Do you see those massive clouds? Fat cloud, bruh. Vape nash, you know? Is that their fuel or their health? I'm actually not sure. We gotta drop more war machines right now, though. We gotta push these guys up to the front lines absolutely ASAP. Oh no, not that. Nope, nope. I, I wanna deselect those things. Okay. Oh, no. People are starting to run out of ammo. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. Move up to the front lines. They only got... Oh, no. They got more wasps coming in. Oh, no. Just that a lot of them are focused on the interceptors. Allied Outpost, 8%. This could be a heroic stand. I want it to be a heroic stand. Please, lads, stay strong, stay strong. Uh, I need you guys... Listen, if you got artillery, you gotta hit... Right there, probably. Hit that. You know what to do. Hit it with it. Get hit it with it. Come on. Come on. I think our boys are still trying to move up. We still got the flamethrowers holding very strong. These guys have been doing great work on these guys. But they're still really big. And our place is just engulfed in smoke. The spiders are starting to get through. We got three minutes. 
Oh no, oh no. Just in god there's smoke everywhere. You can't see a damn thing. It's just battle after battle after battle. And right now, holy hell, is it a big battle. I still can't believe these flamethrowers holding strong. They, they refuse to go. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I believe in you. What's it looking like? 1% on the outpost. It was a valiant effort. But I think we're done. Especially because I think it's because we keep running out of freaking. We ran out of ammo. That's why. Still. A thousand dead enemies. I can be proud of that, men. Thank you. For your valiant service. I'm sorry, as your general. I've let you down. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is some of the insanity that we can do in Home Wars. And holy hell. I love it. I love it so much, and it's just like, ah! It's amazing. I hope you guys love it as much as I did, but that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me. If you guys want to see more, definitely let me know by hitting that like button, commenting down below, and also let me know if you want to see campaign, more custom battles, maybe suggestions for custom battles. I'll shout you guys out if I use your suggestion, that type of stuff. But for now, it's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.